All right, what's going on guys? G Dog Casey here, getting ready for another Final Fantasy 14 video. This time we're healing at Wanderer's Palace, and this is completely new to me. I have not been through this dungeon as a healer before. All right, let's get some buffs up. And let's try to get good at healing because it's something that I definitely need to work at. I don't think I'm necessarily bad, but I'm definitely not on the same level as I am with a paladin, so. I definitely want to get a bit better at that. We're gonna be pulling down the hallway, I think. In this video, we got Luna Silverdust, who is actually somebody who's been following the video series for quite a while. So it's cool to to go through. Whoop! I literally... <laughs> wow, that is really weird what I just did there. That is incredibly stupid. Let's smarten up here. I totally slipped back into tank phase, and I went into the middle of the adds and used my control 2 which is my flash ability and I saw her do that and thought that it was me and I don't know it's stupid I just you can tell that I was born a tank right but uh, yeah so it's pretty cool that I can actually like play the game with some of you guys and you know help contribute for the videos and stuff like that so I'm always happy to do that kind of thing with you guys if you're down throw arrows on random beetles and now we got a decent pull here so I have been reading up a little bit more on white mage and it seems as though I should be using regen more than I am to allow me some extra time to DPS and I remember actually uh, another comment came through basically saying like hey you should try that and I was like, yeah, that sounds like a, you know, a great idea. Like, what an excellent discovery. But, but I suppose that, you know, maybe this is something that white majors who are actually good at their job already do. So, it's just me going through the learning curve. But I enjoy it. And it's definitely, like, I'm not going to say that it's been hard, but it has been a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. I find myself in some situations where I'm going through the daily roulette and I am struggling a bit. Okay, let's get a uh, Cure 2 down here because we've got some heavy damage. And use Divine Seal into a regen ability. And uh, with Divine Seal on, it's going to allow me to only need to use Cure 1. Uh, as well as with Divine Seal mixed with regen, it gives it a little bit of extra firepower to, uh, you know, sustain the tank for a little bit longer is something that I'm learning. But here, as, uh, you know, the regen falls off, we need to get back onto some heavy healing here. Got a ton of mobs, but we're doing all right. Convalescence on for the tank is going to help us out as well, and we're going to come over here and... Uh, I just screwed up. Hold on. Let's get, get the tank back up here. The ninja, or the monk, is not necessarily in, like, a rough spot anyway, but a good medica too. Never did anyone wrong. This fight's gonna last for a little while. I do have Benediction that I need to remember is available. My, uh, I think I have it in a very bad spot though, in terms of hotkeys. Because it's not necessarily quick and easy for me to get to that hotkey from my normal stance, so. I might have to move it somewhere, but I don't really know where I'm gonna move it. Get a bit of heals in here. We can pop this into this. Feel like I'm an expert white mage when I do that. This boss is pretty simple. All right, let's go. We'll use some arrow too, which is something I definitely should probably be doing a little bit more often. Doubling up the arrows is pretty good. I eat, well, I use stone. Sometimes by mistake, other times to just apply the heavy. Most of the time by mistake, though. It's because I've been uh, I've been also playing White Mage with my wife, and she's trying to figure out how to play Gladiator. So I've been her healer, but we've been at lower levels. So 
at lower levels, I can only use stone. So it's a kind of funny thing to have to get used to. Can I as soon as that off? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I can. Alright, so we're going to do it again. Divine Seal into Regen. And then we're going to turn on Cleric Stance and... Well, the thing's already almost dead. I'm like making long-term plans here. The boss is going to die in five seconds. Okay. Well, there we go. Tank's got a super powerful regen on her for, you know, a little while. And that's going to be zero help. But that's all good. Divine Seal is on a very low cooldown. It's basically like a Rampart or Fight or Flight. If, in fact, I think it's even less of a cooldown than that. So you should be using it. I should be using it a lot more often than I am. And uh, same with that regen. Like that Divine Seal regen combo is very powerful. So I might move my regen hockey as well to fit a little bit better with uh, with that combo that I'll be doing more often. Alright, let's uh, get some heals in. See if I can get some arrows out. There's a lot of enemies here. I'm probably being a bit cocky about it. So we'll get like a few and then I'm going to switch back just in case if, uh, you know, regen falls off. Give this person a little regen as well. Nice job tanking from Luna here. You can tell she learned from the best. <laughs> uh, I'm saying, okay. I mean, I'm saying she because it's got a female character. I don't actually know for sure if, um, you know, the person playing this character is male or female. But um, they told me before the dungeon that they were already level 60 when they found me anyway. So it's not like I was able to teach them anything. It's way more likely that I might actually learn something from someone like that who has been playing... Pa I mean, if she was level 60 before I was, then obviously she's been playing longer. But definitely happy with the performance. It, we're able to get through the dungeon incredibly safely. And I can focus on, you know, trying to practice getting in some more damage while making sure the tank doesn't die. So we're going to fight here, because it looks like the Tonberry is... Oh, actually, no, it's going to turn around and come back. Looked like it was heading in the other direction, but... That's actually something. Like, I mean, whether the person playing Luna is a male or a female, obviously it doesn't matter, but one thing that I am noticing, we're going to do our Divine Seal into a powerful regen combo here, we've got a pretty big pull happening, get into some Cure 2, oh, someone's getting hit, there we go, you got the special treatment as well, but yeah, one thing I've noticed and I don't know, maybe I'm just ignorant. It's very likely that I'm ignorant. Um, but it, it seems like there's a lot more females that play Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I just ran into, incidentally, way more than I ever had in World of Warcraft. Obviously, I've encountered them in World of Warcraft too. but it just seems like there's... Like, you have a much higher percent chance of actually, you know, having, like, a pretty diverse gender spectrum, or however you word it in Final Fantasy. Which is pretty cool, because it means that the game appeals to a lot of different types of people. Alright, let's get a Medica 2 out here, just, to, just so I can give myself regen and some other people at the same time. Oh, shit. Okay, no, we want to get out of this guy's range. I didn't even realize that's who it was that was hitting me. Alright. So that Medica 2 is actually a good idea because of the fact that the Tonberry was there as well. There we go. It's pretty nice being a, a healer. Oh, I thought we were done. It's pretty nice being a healer and not having to worry about leading the whole party. I'm pretty sure I've probably said that a couple times, but it's, uh, it's a load off. You just follow and you just 
do what's expected of you. Let the tank lead. You can open up chests. Do some DPS here. But yeah, it's always hard to tell. Like, you can't really assume things in, uh, in a game like this because there's a ton of guys who make female characters. It seems like half of the popular YouTubers do it. Um, you know, and then not even just YouTubers, but also just normal people. They, uh, you know, they'll play female characters if they're male. I've done it. I have a, a female, like, alt character in this game that I play never anymore, but when I came back from a break, I started that character because I want... Yeah, I don't think we have to go here. I think it's somewhere about, uh, around the edge here, yeah, where she's going. But you can't just assume based on the fact that they have a female character with a female-sounding name that they are. And it's same when I'm, like, trying to respond to comments and stuff. Like, my basic go-to... Okay, hold on. Maybe, uh, maybe I should focus... Get a regen. I'm gonna use divine. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna use everything. <laughs> okay, we're going for it. We're going ham. I guess we're just looking for where to go. But yeah, like my my go-to. Like I say, hey man, and thanks man, and hey dude, or thanks dude, like that kind of thing. Like by default a lot. And then I wonder, like, well, I mean, how do I really know? You know, the name seems kind of feminine. The avatar looks feminine. But maybe I think the name looks feminine, but maybe it's not. I don't really know. Like, it's... So, I suppose that's a me issue, right? I should probably work on not just being like, Thanks, man. And I actually have been on purpose doing that. Like, trying to avoid just... Not because I think it's necessarily rude or anything, but... Creates a bit of an awkward situation. I haven't, I haven't really been paying attention to, like, the objectives of the map. I know there are... We're supposed to pick up, like, oil lamp... Oil lanterns and stuff like that so we can get the hell out of here. Let's look at the map. So we gotta go this way. The door is over on that side. I think it's down somewhere. Okay. Looks like they have a mission, so we'll follow them. Oh, cool, someone's laying a trail. What? Did we, <laughs> we already opened it? So this boss is very simple from what I remember. Yeah, it does spawn some adds, but I think for the most part, I keep using stone one by mistake. I was playing like level 20 white mage all night last night. Um, the adds are basic adds. Tank collects them, DPS burns them down. I focus on DPS the entire time. We just stone to him until he's dead. I might have to switch to healing at some point. Sentinel. I don't normally use Sentinel. You know what? In these, uh, it's something that I need to work on for tank. Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just wasn't ready for that. Did I pull threat there and I wasn't paying attention? Alright, let's start paying attention. You know what, I'm not really being a good heal- Well, I think I'm doing an okay job healing, but... 
I'm literally paying like pretty much zero attention to what's going on because I uh, I don't have to. I'm sort of reveling in that right now. I have cleric stance on. Take that off. There we go. We got it. Let's just throw on that. There we go. happening oh. <laughs> what is going on well I think I know what's going on but oh shit I gotta get out of this guy's way this is just insane can I stack yeah, it looks like I can. I can stack the two regens. I don't get it. I have... I have no idea what we're doing here. I guess one of the DPS fell behind and then triggered like a Tonberry, or the Tonberry was like chasing us. I don't know. I don't know why we're back in this room. All right, we can start doing some DPS here. Sorry guys, I mean, I feel rather unorganized right now. But it's all good, we're getting through it. I like this stuff. These big pulls give me, uh... Oh, I can't... Never mind. That was stupid. Got stuck on Cleric Sands there for a bit. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Divine Seal. Yeah, I need to change my hockeys. They're really not comfortable for, like, quick combos. Like, my Divine Seal regen combo is like, control 3 and then shift Q. <laughs> it's just, it's not intuitive at all. I just double arrowed that guy by mistake. Because I'm a scrub. My attention span is next to nothing right now for some reason. Yes, we'll use the lantern oil. And we're approaching the final boss here. Who is incredibly simple. At least when you're overgeared. Tonberry King sharpening his Tonberry knife. All we gotta do is just burn him down. Just ignore everything and just burn him down. Alright, let's go. Whoa! Okay. I got control. And off we go. I like the I, I love the uh, comment that told me to focus the boss while healing. I think it's a uh, great idea, and I need to fix the hotkey for that as well. So many things that I keep saying I need to do, and I just don't do it. Cause I forget, man. When I'm done recording, I go to work usually, and then forget everything I said. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, there was a heavy hit there. That should be good enough for me to get back to DPS. I just did the Divine Seal regen combo again. I was about to use stone again. This is, uh, interesting. I don't even know if I've seen this phase before. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Burn it down. Got it. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this one. That is the Wanderer's Palace. From the healer perspective, we had some interesting encounters. 
but for the most part, it's all it all comes down to fundamentals, right? Even if you don't know what's coming, and this is another thing I've said like a hundred times, but if you don't know what's coming, then just play your class fundamentally sound. Do all the, the things that you should do, and you will do you'll do fine. Sorry, I don't know why that thought was so disconnected. I don't know what's going on with me today, but I am uh, clearly not in the best state of mind to be talking to people, but I do it anyway. So there you go. But that's okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, that was Wanderer's Palace from the healer perspective. And the next video we're going to be doing is Castor Midori Meridianum. Beautiful. So we're going to be going through these two Imperial style dungeons next. I think they're both 8 man as well. So that'll be pretty cool from the healer's perspective. I look forward to it. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. As always, leave a like if you liked it. And uh, make sure to leave comments down below if you want to chat about something. But yeah, we'll see you in the next one.